Hello, people. You know, this whole thing with FBS and Tony, it doesn't come down to the fact that FBS thinks that Tony's going to do anything to him. What it comes down to for the last few months, Tony has been destroying him verbally. Tony's hurt him. Tony's taken away... If Tony comes at the same time as him, his viewers go down. Uh, Tony's a real problem to him. So FBS is going to do whatever he can to get Tony out of the way. So this is the same guy that had shows on John A. Light and Jim Barillo. Talking about how they're rats and shit. And now he is talking about calling the cops on a guy that he knows isn't going to hurt him, a guy that he knows is just speaking out his ass and, and replying to him, but he's willing to put this guy away in prison. That's the tough street guy that FBS is. And then you got Jimmy the Rat bragging about how he hangs out with cops and how he would have no trouble turning Tony into the police. You can't make this shit up. You literally have the so supposed so-called mafia genre, which it is not no more. It's the cop calling genre, led by FBS. And you have FBS over here talking about putting a man in prison for his life, taking his car away, because he can't win a verbal battle with him. You know, I understand that if FBS was truly, truly scared for his life, thinking that this man was going to do something to him, but he knows damn well this man's not going to do nothing to him, this man is not going to drive up and see him, this man isn't going to do shit to him. And then, today he attacks Josie after he has been loving what Josie's been doing to everybody, especially me. He's been having her on the show. He's been advertising her show whenever uh, she did a show on me. He would talk about it. Uh, he's there in the um, chat room. See, what he is, he's a conniver. He is a low-level street guy. These are the kind of guys that, you know, they do a little bit of dope, maybe a dime bag here and there, whatever the fuck his, drug, his uh, choice of drugs was. There's nothing big and bad about this guy. And then, from his chat room, you have people like Damian Trites threatening people's lives, Anthony Salerno threatening people's lives, and other people. I have several calls. I was going to do a show. As a matter of fact, I have to show up with the guy's phone number and everything from Massachusetts, who called me, literally, with FBS's show playing in the background, telling me that he was going to fucking kill me. And telling me that if I kept fucking with FBS, he was going to hurt me. Literally. I had the guy's phone number. For Massachusetts. Those clowns up there. Like, think about who's from Massachusetts. So you have these guys doing this. On behalf of FBS. He has no problem with that. Do you think he would say to Anthony Slerno, Don't threaten me. You know, Anthony Slerno is not only called me. He's called other people too. And he gets on the phone with his big fucking I'm a tough guy voice threatening to hurt people. And then you have uh, fucking Damien Trites, who every day is in the chat room threatening to beat people up. Gets, uh, has a debate with MRE the other day on his show and gets out of the car and goes, Lee calls the cop, call her, called the cops. No, you dumb fuck. I'm, I never called a cop on you. And you know I never called a cop on you. I should have called a cop on you. Because you literally sent my house, a picture of my house to me, and threatened to hurt me. But I still did it. Now, those are real threats. The threats that FBS is getting, those aren't real threats, people. Tony's not going to do that. This is all about getting Tony out of the way because in a verbal battle, he's being crushed. Everybody knows that Tony's crushing him. 
you know, and this is the thing at BS. You think that everybody else in everybody's chat room is stupid except your, your uh, uh, far left wackos in your room. Because any decent conservative would never be in your room. And if they are conservative in your room, they're not really conservative. They're sellouts. So you can keep on talking about calling the cops, but you should be ashamed of yourself. You really should. You know, just say everything does happen and the cops come through and they arrest Tony and everything. The fact of the matter is you're going to always be known as a wimpy ass cop caller. As for, Jim, as for Jimmy Calandra, we know what he is. He's already done it. And then he makes up excuses why he did it. He did it because he didn't want to go to prison. And now he's all buddies with all these fucking cops. These cops should be ashamed to even have that motherfucker in their life after the shit he did in his life, terrorizing a neighborhood. You guys deserve, you, Stax, and Jimmy deserve each other. Gunsmoke, he's different. He'll learn the hard way. He'll learn the hard way. You've already betrayed him. You'll betray him again. You betrayed Angel Gotti over a fucking song. Over a song, you betrayed Angel Gotti. Because it was so important for you to monetize that video, you betrayed Angel Gotti. I had my issues with Angel Gotti, but it wasn't based on money, dude. So, you know, you can keep on doing the shit you're doing, doing those fucking silly... Oh, those silly Im imitations. Oh, my God, and that little whisper. Irritating. That's more irritating than anything. I used to enjoy watching your show. Now that you do the, you know, making fun of highlight and the whispering on the mic, getting way too weird. You have 4,000 followers. That's it. This is all about getting Tony out of the way because you know your base is not going to build much longer. You're going to be stuck between four and 4,500, maybe if you're lucky, five. But that's it. That's your growing point. You're not going to grow any more than that. But you're going to be known as a cop caller. So do yourself a favor. Do not speak of John A. Light or Gene Barillo ever again. You have no right to. None. Because you're worse than they are. You openly talk to two, three hundred people live and tell them that you're a cop caller. And most of these are left-wing wackos and they don't care because that's what leftists do. They call cops. So you have fun, but here comes what, here's what it comes down to. You're a rat. You're acting like a rat. You can't take Tony out verbally. He's destroying you. So this is the easiest way for you to do it. <laughs> Now that Josie has woken up and seen exactly who you are, you're going to turn on her. You have no loyalty to anybody, dude. Nobody. You even said it. You don't care. As long as they plop some money, you're happy. But slowly, that'll all start pushing away because once you become a rat and people know what kind of rat you are. See, this is what Highlight's trying to say. Do you know how many people out there, not even in this genre, know you and call you a rat? You have real gangbangers that literally call you a rat, dude. And you brag about it. I'm going to call the cops because I can't handle Tony. That's what it comes down to. You cannot handle Tony. Tony's ripping you a new ass. You can't handle him. So you got to call the cops. Pfft. Fucking joke.